The Parker family is on vacation in a tiny house. You can find out exactly what that is and why you might choose to live in such a small house today on Robert Knows. there soon? <laughs> yes, it's right in front of you. It looks kind of small to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's called a tiny house. <laughs> Come on, let's go inside. <laughs> We're going to have a great vacation. They still managed to fit everything in here. Yes, a tiny house is essentially just a smaller house. It has 50 to 150 square feet of floor space and provides everything you need to live. Okay, I don't understand why anyone would build such a small house. A tiny house has many advantages. Since fewer raw materials are used to build tiny house, it is more sustainable. It also takes up less space, which means that more houses can be built. But where do you put all your stuff? Well, if you want to live in a tiny house, you have to live very minimally. What is a minimum? What? Being a minimalist means that you only own the stuff you really need to live. You could also say the minimum. Oops, it all looks a bit messy now. But we only brought enough things for a few days. Well, you have to be very tidy in a tiny house. Since there is less space, you will notice a mess much more quickly. Ah, uh, does that mean we have to tidy up more often? Yes, exactly. Kids, are you coming down? We want to toast marshmallows in the garden. Oh, oh yes! yes! I think a tiny house like this is not very practical. You know, Ben, lots of people like to live more independent lives. And because a tiny house is so small, it is easier to move. You can also build it on wheels, so you can easily tow it to another location. You mean kind of like a trailer? Yes, exactly. Except that a tiny house is a real house with furniture and all the other stuff. <coughs> Come on, start burning already. Can I help you, Mr. Parker? No, I've got this. They don't call me Parker the Survivalist for nothing. Who calls you that? Lots of people. Maybe I need some more wood. What did I tell you? See? No problem for the survivalist. <laughs> What's up with you? <laughs> Nothing, Dad. Nothing at all. Oh, oh yes. I completely forgot to tell you. There is also a chicken coop here. That's awesome. Come on, Lisa. Let's go see. That's practical. Chickens in your own garden. That's right. Since a tiny house requires very little space, it often has a big garden. Therefore, many people who live in tiny houses grow their own fruit and vegetables, or keep chickens and other animals. So you can have a fried egg every day. Exactly. But hens don't just lay eggs. They also eat bugs and weeds. That's so clever. It's really wonderful here, don't you think? Yes, I think so too. You know, I figured out that tidying up is much quicker if you have less stuff. What a clever little brother. <laughs> <laughs> Till next time, kids. See ya.